I, a therapist once told me, I hate doing therapy. It's, it's really uncomfortable to bear my soul and have the fear of being judged. My therapist almost always pulls off a father figure or a mother figure to me, and so therefore, there's always that risk of being shamed by them or judged by them. And, and I can totally relate that, relate to that. Uh, like a friend told me, it's, it's sort of like uh, jumping into cold water. <laughs> it's really shocking when you first jump in, and then when you acclimate, it's not so bad. Um, and I, I found this to be my uh, experience when I particularly began working on myself and doing inner work and uh, looking at my issues is that fear of sharing it and being judged. And uh, also what I might find that might be even too scary for me. And as the years have come by and, and I've started doing the access techniques of access energy transformation, I started looking at my limitations not only from the story of what happened, but from the energy level of, of what happened and how it feels energetically into my body. And uh, just to feel that intensity. And most importantly, and I really want you to really get this, is not to judge the energy. It's just a memory. It happened. And you may have judged it as bad or wrong or horrible or good in the past. And I invite you to look at it differently as just an energy. It's just something you've stored away, put aside, and it's recorded in your body. And of course, that energy never really goes away until you address it. Uh, if, if we addressed all of our problems, all the times we were angry or sad or, or grieving and fully went through that process, we would not have these energetic memories. They would, they would process through and they would be gone and we would learn an experience from them. Done. But the suppressed energetic memory is still there. And in some ways it really wants to be fed again. So it recreates an energy that stimulates you to do it again, to do the mistake again. And, it, it, and so in some ways it, it, it creates that unconsciousness. So with access, we're really able to go in and explore that energetic memory, find the story out, and, I, and, and as the access philosophy say, not to judge any of it, just perceive it. And so the access clearing statements clear those energetic memories out where they're not there anymore. And so we're less likely to be stimulated by fears or anger and to recreate that perpetual story or that perpetual situation again. You know, so consciousness sh sheds lights on it or sheds the light on it and uh, we can move this and get clear, find the truth, and then with access we can clear it and it's a phenomenal experience. Of, of letting this stuff go. It goes much quicker than anything I know. And so now, looking at my issues is no longer like jumping into cold water. It's just energy. And I am willing to look at as many energies as possible inside of me that are creating my limitations. In fact, whenever I feel something heavy in my body, I know there's a limitation out there. If something isn't right, if something keeps coming back up in my life that is uncomfortable, that is a limitation, that stimulates an, an emotion, there's something I need to deal with. And my body has all the um, memories, all the information, I just go in and access it. I go in and clear it. And voila, it's gone. And then something else gets to show up for me, something more expanded, something easier, uh, something that's more fun, more aware, more conscious. So that's the process for me right now, and uh, I invite you to check it out.